All right, hey guys, it's me, Captain Energy, and today I want to talk to you about Reason 12 and what's going on. As you may or may not have heard, as of September 2023, Reason 11 will no longer have offline authorization. Uh, what does that mean for you? Well, it means either you'll have to be connected to the internet all the time when you use it, or you won't be able to use it. The software will continue to work, so they're not forcing you to be going to Reason 12, but they're suggesting that it's a good idea because Reason 12 has offline authorization. And it's a much better system. There's, it's dongle-less, where Reason uh, 11, you could still use a dongle. The dongle's around for it, but uh, it's just a much better move. Now, a lot of people are complaining, saying that this ought to be a free upgrade. Well... I have to say, I don't think that that is going to happen because right now Reason is saying Reason Studios on their site says it's $200 for the upgrade. Um, and uh, you do get quite a bit more for that upgrade cost. You get Mimic Creative Sampler, which is amazing, by the way. This is probably the best sampler I've ever used software or hardware. I think it's amazing. Uh, the updated combinator, this thing is insane. You can basically make your own rack extensions within reason and build out the, the components of it inside of it. And it's just, I've built quite a few and given them away for free. Other people have given away a lot. Basically, just knowing that the combinator is there, the new combinator is going to, you're going to find a lot of really cool free content just being able to use combinator to uh you got faster browsing true high resolution graphics true 4k monitor or you got a 5k or even an 8k or whatever you can get the graphics you can zoom in and out it's it's really nice definitely a good feature uh, i use it a lot on my 4k tv because when i use my with my tv i can you know, be further back and, and zoom in still so that's a nice size and, and still clear. Offline mode, which, as we've already discussed. And the other thing that is uh, interesting here is, re uh, well, Reason 11 doesn't fully support M1, M2. It is running through Rosetta. Now, here's a consideration for all the Mac folks out there. Apple is notorious for dropping support for stuff when you think you're safe. They've had Rosetta, the original Rosetta, Rosetta 1, back in the day when they went to the Intel processor so you could run, that uh, was it, Power Mac G3, I think it was G3, it was the process before the Intel process, I can't remember what Apple did, but they had Rosetta so you could run your old applications there on your Mac. Well, a few years into having it there, they said, well, everybody should be converted over by now. Let's yank it. So they did. They yanked Rosetta. And all of a sudden, all those applications that you used to be able to use uh, stopped working. And that's what's going to end up happening here as well on the new Macs is eventually they're going to say, well, everyone's had enough time to come over to M1, M2. Reason 11 isn't M1, M2. And then they'll yank it. And anyone else who's not fully, fully supporting Apple Silicon at that point, like Cubase is supporting it. Reason is supporting it. Uh, I'm not sure what Ableton is doing yet uh, or what any of the other DAWs are doing yet, but if they're not supporting M1, M2 fully at that point, they will suddenly cease to work. Uh, what are you going to do about it? Well, <laughs> all you can do is petition the people who make the software to get on the stick and make M1, M2 versions of the software. Uh, same thing for VSTs, like plugins and such. Uh, VST3, which Reason does support VST3 and is a VST3, to your other DAW if they if you use it as a plugin. Uh, a lot of DAWs are not going to handle VST2 anymore because it is supporting code that is not future proof basically. VST3 is going to become the base VST that will be available in most DAWs. So just a thought. Anyway, I found that uh, like I said, on Reason's site, the price is 199 for the upgrade, which is a little pricey, uh, I think, but it's still worth it. You still get quite a bit for uh, that, you know, for 199. However, if I could save you $120, why wouldn't I do that? So let's take a look right now. I'm gonna jump over to Sweetwater right now, and they have available as a download. Okay, so you'll have it now. It'll be in your hands in five minutes. Uh, well, maybe less, depending how quick you are with the keyboard. You go to uh, Sweetwater Sound, and if you, and I'm not even going to give you an affiliate link because I'm not an affiliate. I just use Sweetwater for everything. But I will give you this link. I'll copy this link and put it in my uh, in my description for you guys so you can find it. But uh, you go over here, and you can buy it for 79 bucks. If you want, you can even spread the payments out over six months. That's like 1380 a month or something like that. Uh, which is less than the cost of Reason Plus. Uh, and you'll have Reason 12, and you'll have access to all the future things that are coming out for Reason. 
just a thought. It seems like a great idea. And if you have any questions or whatever, hit me up in the comments. I'd be glad to try and answer them for you. But this is a fantastic deal and a super time to purchase Reason and kind of live fearlessly into the next generation of music making. Because the thing is, Reason 11, like I said, it's going to, once they decide essentially we're going to you know, stop this and we're going to stop their priority, not really updating it. You know what I mean? Things are going to change. Operating system is going to change. System parameters are going to change. You might think you can use it forever, but you can't because eventually your computer is going to be replaced, right? Well, it may not work in re Windows 12 or Windows 13 or whatever, or it may not work in the next OS X Venezuela. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever they call the next opera. I don't know. My, Apple's weird with their names. I don't know. Anyway, but you know what I'm saying? It, it, we can't guarantee the future unless we're using what is of the future or of the present. You know, we can't guarantee that tomorrow things are going to work unless we have the current stuff. So 80 bucks, I think is definitely worth spending $80 for your peace of mind, having the ability to keep working on your music. This is a purchase, by the way. This is not a rental like Reason Plus. Everyone, they, they want you to go Reason Plus. Sure, they do. 20 bucks a month. That'd be awesome. This That'd get you four months of Reason Plus. Um, and you'd get a little more for that. Yes, you would. But I'm not a fan of the Reason Plus model. I'm not a fan of any subscription model. Anyway, I will stop now. I appreciate y'all taking the time to listen to this. Let me know what you think. Do you think you're going to upgrade to Reason 12? Is $79 enough of a price break for you? Um, do you think that uh, you're going to stick with Reason 11? Or are you going to stop using Reason completely? I'm just curious what people are thinking. I'm never going to stop using Reason. And uh, so that's why I will continue to purchase the, the owned version as I go along. But um, yeah, I, I think Reason's fantastic. Uh, people who don't think that it's good or think that it's outdated or whatever. Just, I think it's a different mentality. I come from a hardware mentality and reason really appeals to that side of me. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments. I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a great day. Be safe. Bye for now.